that's um, very, very kind of you, Maureen. Uh, when I was, um, okay, those of you who are familiar with my books and those of you who aren't, I write stories about true love and the girls, uh, their first person, present tense, and the girls tend to be a little obsessive. And there's a really good reason for that. <laughs> When I was in high school, I met my true love, and I became really obsessive. <laughs> and thankfully, um, I had never kept a journal or diary before, but I was taking a creative writing class, and um, every morning when we got to school, um, we would have to write in it for the first five minutes. So all the entries are pretty short, but because of that, my senior year, I have documentation of my obsession. Uh, here is my notebook, lovely standard composition. Um, on it, I have written my nicknames, Goofy, Daisy, Sprinkles, and Space Girl. The last one I think is still the most appropriate. And then inside, um, I had these really lovely collages of the Beastie Boy. <laughs> MCA was my favorite, rest in peace, that was very sad. And then, of course, um, I wrote in rainbow. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to read for you is, are some excerpts. Um, there's actually much more where this comes from, but I'll spare you. Um, in, the, in November of my senior year, um, sometimes when I read these, I, I do it as kind of a surprise, but because a lot of you know me or and specifically know my husband, um, there's really no surprise here. Um, the Jared in the story is my husband. This is the man that I married. And I met him on November 19th, 1999. <laughs> 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 So, this random boy emailed me yesterday afternoon. He said he had run across my profile on Yahoo and he felt as if he had found his soulmate. He gave, my, he gave me his profile to look up and you know what? He was actually cute. <laughs> Next entry. <laughs> Alright, so I didn't mean to leave it at that he was just cute. He's really sweet and smart too. He's emailed me like a million times already. <laughs> and last night I talked to him in a chat room for a few hours. I am so happy. I don't care that he's an internet boyfriend. <laughs> it makes him no less real to me. <laughs> Next. I talked to Jared again last night. He's the computer boy, of course. So perfect. He scanned more pictures of himself for me. <laughs> I am such a girl. <laughs> Late November. What? A fantastic weekend. <laughs> I talked to Jared on the phone for the first time last night. He had the cutest little southern accent. I thought I'd be nervous, but I wasn't at all. And we talked for two and a half hours. Smiley face. <laughs> Next entry. I feel icky. I need sleep. I told my boy I couldn't talk to him at night because I have to go to bed big sad face. <laughs> I don't know what it is about Tuesdays, but by God, I always feel so awful. Today I'm getting myself upset over Jared because he lives so far away. Next entry. <laughs> I'm not feeling quite so bad about Jared today. <laughs> I was upset yesterday because I was paranoid about him suddenly disappearing or something, but I woke up today and I had five emails from him. <laughs> Not too concerned right now. <laughs> and then we go on winter break, so skipping ahead to January 4th, the year 2000. Sad face. <laughs> Jared called my work yesterday to tell me he loved me and just to say hello, but for some reason, my coworker who answered the phone said I wasn't there. And I totally was. <laughs> much all of yesterday, cutting words out of magazines and making them into little phrases and poetry for Jared. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'll like it. I hope so. <laughs> it really took me 
all day to me. <laughs> Next entry. Our phone calls have pro progressed into three and four hour calls and huge phone bills. <laughs> but it's worth it, of course. Smiley face. <laughs> Next entry. Smiley face. <laughs> I'm talking to Jared tonight on the phone for the first time in a week. Our phone bills were getting so huge that we had to cut it back to only one call a week. <laughs> Next entry. I had a car accident yesterday. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> this one wasn't so bad. <laughs> I got to talk to Jared last night for a long time. <laughs> to wait another week to hear from him again. <sighs> Next entry. <laughs> My mind isn't functioning yet. I had three days in a row off from work at the bookstore, but really, it wasn't enough at all. I'm going back to work yesterday. It was so hard. I felt like a weenie when I told Jared that. <laughs> He'd been at his work for two days. For real. He had to sleep there and everything. <laughs> he works at a television station, and because of the blizzards in Georgia, he has to stay at work all weekend. I would die if I had to stay at work all weekend. <laughs> Next entry. Time is so weird. On one hand, April slash Jared's visit seems so close, and time has really flown since I met him, and so April will be here before I know it. But on the other hand, during those times when I'm at work or school, time goes by so slowly, and it feels like April will never come. <laughs> Next entry. Yay! <laughs> it's February. One month closer to April. Smiley face. <laughs> Next entry. So, I've been whining about it a lot lately, but screw it, I don't care. I'm going to whine a little bit longer because it's the only thing on my mind. <laughs> April is so far away. <laughs> Oops, out of time. I guess you don't have to listen to me whine. <laughs> Next entry. I feel sick and my parents won't call me out this morning. I hate being the only 18-year-old whose parents won't emancipate. <laughs> My parents just don't want to lose that extra control over me. I think the birth control pills are making me sick. The birth control pills my mother is making me take, even though my boyfriend lives in Georgia. <laughs> Next century. I don't know. Maybe I'm the only one, but wow. Kilts are such a turn on. <laughs> because she goes to another school and I haven't seen her in a few years. We started talking and guess what? She has a boyfriend in Georgia too! <laughs> so we got to talk about the two of them for a really long time without the other person getting annoyed. <laughs> March 1st. Yay! It's March! It's almost April! Only 37 more days until Jared comes! Not that I'm counting. March 14th. Yay! Oh, yay, 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 yay! I'm so happy right now! Giant smiley face! Exclamation point! I got another song written by Jared in the mail yesterday. Another one about me. Five smiley faces. I just about died when I heard it. Five more smiley faces. Next entry. Okay. This waiting business is unbearable. 22 days. After waiting for nearly four months to see this boy, it should seem like cake, but oh no. Before, time was like tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. And now, it's like tick tock. <laughs> Close. 
it's really gonna happen. I almost can't believe it. Oh, and I got another video from him in the mail yesterday. Aye! <laughs> He's so hot. <laughs> but it's true, he is. <laughs> April 5th. Only two days now. I'm so excited that I can't think of anything to say. And I so have not been able to fall asleep very easily for these last few nights. My mind is running a million miles an hour and I'm just so nervous. Next century. How can I concentrate on anything today in school? I'm so excited I can barely sit still. In five and a half hours, I am finally going to meet Jared in person. Giant smiley face. <laughs> it's a good day. Next century. Good and bad. How I feel. <laughs> Happy because of Jared. Sad because he's gone. It was 10 million times better than we even thought it would be. And my parents so loved him. And my parents normally do not like boys who want to date their daughters. <laughs> they even keep asking me when they're going to see him again. Smiley face. But I miss him so much. <laughs> Next entry. Yesterday was sad. I miss Jared so much. My dad is out of town, but I was talking to mom yesterday about the possibility of Jared coming out for my graduation. She said it would be nice, but she's not sure because my sister is flying out and she knows I need to spend time with her. And if Jared is here, he'll be a distraction. <laughs> but I so want to see him again. I need to see him again. <laughs> Last time. I knew it would be hard, but I didn't think it would be this hard. As soon as I finally got happy this weekend, Jared and I remembered something. Sweeps month. Doesn't sound like a big deal? Since May is sweeps and Jared works for NBC, he isn't allowed to take off any days from work next month. So I don't get my graduation present after all. I won't see him for two and a half months now. I cried for two and a half hours last night. <laughs> My eyes got all swollen shut and everything. My dad called to cheer me up, and I told him what I want for graduation instead. A thermos. 